Hello there, my fellow explorers of Hyrule. Today, I'm gonna give you a hand. Er, maybe three? <laughs> Hello there then, uh, my fellow explorers of Hyrule once more. How are you doing? Hopefully deliciously well in our Tears of the Kingdom adventure as it sprawls out before you. Truly, you can of course go anywhere, do anything in any order, but that gets a lot easier when you start the game with an inventory full of really potent more endgame weapons. Oh, and I don't know, the best shield in the game and a massively upgraded armor set. All acquirable within like a half an hour of you finishing the basic tutorial-y stuff. So here is how. We want to go to Lookout Landing and first we're going to do a little bit of preparation because Link's puny stamina bar at the start, well, is just too small to get anything done with. So head out into the grassy area and start getting your farmer on and looking for crickets, which is of course something the farmer does. And once you have a whole bunch of them, you want at least 10 or so, you are good. Then you want to find some fire fruit around the area, as in this adventure, like every great one, we will need to set at least something on fire. Lastly, we want to go to a uh, local uh, bow goblin camp and slaughter them all mercilessly so we can rip their horns off their head to use for our own purposes. Head back to uh, the uh, lookout and head downwards in uh, to uh, the room in the center. If it's not open, talk to the guard and he will open it and we want to do a little bit of cooking. And the recipe we're after is three crickets along with one horn and then we will get a elixir of energizing. Technically you could do this with just one but some backups are definitely worth having so make all of them up. Then it's time to launch ourselves into the air. Reactor online, sensors online, weapons online, all systems nominal. <laughs> by going to the landing Skyview Tower in the lookout. If this isn't unlocked for you, you have to complete Pura's first initial quest to go scout out the castle, which also unlocks the glider. The platform, if this is your first time, you'll get a little cutscene and then get absolutely blasted. Once you regain control of Link, immediately pull out your glider and start heading towards Hyrule Castle. This is where we will need our stamina elixirs, as you will not make it without them. So get as far as you can until you're just about to run out, pop open your inventory, drink one of them, wonder how it is you are drinking one of them in this situation, just one hand paragliding, splashing the liquid all over your face like, oh god please, and pray that you don't accidentally come spiraling out the air. Eventually though, you will make it and you... to land on this central bridge in the castle. And once you are here, continue straight forward in to this central spherical chamber, and fear not for there's no nasties waiting for you here. This is where the fire fruits are for, because if we light both of these uh, lanterns, well then we'll get that oh so satisfying and familiar. And here is where we will get our chest armor, in our champion's leathers. Then from this point onwards, you can just do a good amount of exploring. In the vicinity, there is loads of potent weaponry on the ground. You will get a lot of Royal Guards stuff, generally speaking, and this is really, really solid, especially at the start of the game. So, well, take your selection, pack your inventory full, as you're gonna get a massive amount of use out of these, and you're gonna feel seriously powerful for the opening sections of the game and it's gonna make everything just so so much smoother and make sure to grab the free 50 rupees too there is quite a few in this central room to begin with but if you look as you go through this castle you are gonna get lots of them of course be careful because there are very dangerous enemies as this isn't supposed to be where you're supposed to be but it's not too hard to avoid them in any case once you are satisfied you want to head out of this chamber in this direction 
through this door, drop down onto the top of this turret, drop down again, and now we have infiltrated Zelda's bedroom, which I feel like I should have phrased differently now that I've said it. If we go behind the screen, there is another chest, and in this chest, we will get the Royal Guards Helmet, which is for defense, which is a hell of an upgrade because we don't start the game with a helmet. Then from here, again, there is many more weapons to grab around the area, but we want to return back to the top of the uh, turret that we initially dropped down onto. So we want to leap down and head to the pathway below, glide over it and get as far as we can before eventually having to land on it in front of a little cave. Ignore the terrifying army of death on the ceiling and sprint your way past them. They will very much kill you if they do manage to catch you, so good luck with that. Then we will find ourselves a uh, fast travel point to activate so we can come back here. So from this point onwards, if something does kill you, it's not a disaster because we can just come straight back. Next, you just want to essentially trace my steps with me through the video as I go. We'll eventually descend into B3 of the castle and into this room here, which is the library. And in the library, behind us immediately as we fall into the room, we can grab this bookcase, yank it out of position, and in the chest in the back, we will acquire ourselves some Royal Guard boots. Again, a big upgrade. And again, more weaponry around the area to stuff your pockets with. Then, once you are satisfied, once more follow my steps, we're going to head back towards that cave with the horror monkeys in, but we're going to leap off the cliff to the right of it and do a little bit of gliding. Then, we will slowly land down. And hit the docks. And this is probably the most troubling part of this entire excursion. It is some steps that... <laughs> steps, right? Exhausting. Honestly, this is this is the most grueling step. No, at the top of these steps, there's a kind of eldritch fucking horror. However, it's okay. What we want to do is leap off the side before it gets to you, attach yourself to the wall, start moving over to where it initially was, and with any luck, it will actually kill itself by falling off the wall trying to get you. Pick up the dark clumps that it drops if it does die. If not, you can just climb up and time it and run away from it, making sure to jump over the nasty on the floor known as gloom, which if you stand on for too long, it will start corrupting your hearts, and we really don't want that. Once we do reach the top of these steps, though, there is one final thing to set on fire. This brazier, which will then cause a chest to appear. And in this chest, yes, it is our greatest, grandest prize. The Hylian Shield, which is amazing to have at the start of the game. As, well, it's the Hylian Shield. To put it in perspective, your starter shield has, like, what, four? Two defense, and this has 90. Which means for any difficult encounters, whip this out and you are very much good. So, then you are free to explore the rest of the area. There is some challenging enemies, some more goodies and weapons to acquire, and you can explore to your heart's content. Everything else is very difficult and will require some finicking to make happen at this stage of the game, so I would definitely recommend coming back later on when you're more powerful so you can do it all at your leisure, and less doing it now, which would involve a lot of running and screaming and being in immense amounts of danger. Whatever you choose to do though, good luck, and I hope you you have found this very useful, a pocket full of good weapons, the best shield, and a fantastic set of starting armor with instant Hyrule Castle access. For now then, like you've enjoyed this, subscribe and hit the bell for more, consider supporting the future of the channel on Patreon down below, and look out for plenty more Tears of the Kingdom goodness as the days progress. For now then, a good boy. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos, dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes, Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement to take our insanity and turn it into entertainment. Yes, I said entertainment twice. To reiterate that it is nice. To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis when you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage. Is. Uh, goodbye.